What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here with one of the coolest videos I think I've ever done so far, at least concept-wise. So up until last week, there were three elements that we knew of that would be in the game, that serve as offensive gear attachments and help set up one of Anthem's core game mechanics, combos. However, after John Warner's interview with Games Radar, we learned that there would be another element added to the previous elements, those elements being fire, ice, and electricity. The fourth element added was acid. To many, that only merited a minor shrug as far as what it meant for Anthem. However, for me and many of the freelancers in the Your Anthem Discord server, it meant so much more. In most games, your elements are something along the lines of ice, fire, electricity, and something organic such as nature or poison related. Not to mention in these games, it's usually a mystical power source or force that grants you the ability to wield such elements. As some of you will remember from this week's Dev Tracker video, I tweeted to John Warner if the Storm Javelin has the ability to tap into the Anthem of Creation to wield the various elements, or if it was the gear that would give them its power. AKA, are the elements of Anthem manufactured, or are they mystically given by the Anthem of Creation? John replied that the Anthem of Creation is far too powerful and willful, and that it would be like breaching the Hoover Dam to put out a simple campfire. So, essentially, that was a resounding no as far as the Anthem granting us the elements to use in combat. Given that, how have we developed weapons such as the Ranger's Frost Grenade? And especially, how can the Storm wield the elements? To answer that, we have to go over the basics of how the elements function in Anthem. For one, the elements give the javelin-wielding freelancers a huge edge in battle. From what we've seen so far, the fire element acts as a damage over time ability, or a dot, on the enemies. From what we have seen, the enemies don't run away or slow the fight just because they are on fire, however, we haven't seen enough evidence to confirm that quite yet. The ice element acts as a temporary paralysis crowd control ability. For instance, we see the ranger tossing a frost grenade and freezing the enemies in their tracks, which is a great setup for comboing with heavy attacks and abilities such as the Colossus Mortar attack. However, the frost grenade's effects appear to end upon being hit by any number of attacks. The next element is electricity, which has a slew of potential to stun enemies, prep for combos, and acts as an all-around crowd control ability. And while we haven't seen acid in play yet, I'm willing to bet it'll either be a dot ability, an armor corrosion ability, or something along those lines, or both. Now, while the elements are pretty nifty on their own, they do have quite a few other implications. The developers have stressed to no end that Anthem's world is incredibly bad and hugely interactive. That interaction, however, doesn't just end with lore, exploration, or hidden treasures. It has huge implications on how combat will work. For instance, during the E3 2018 trailer, we saw the Storm Javelin call down a strike of lightning into a group of unsuspecting scars who were just so happened to be standing in a pool of water. The damage and area of effect the Storm's ability had was increased immensely, which was then comboed by a Colossus, dealing even more damage. However, while certain environmental situations can boost and increase the radius or damage of some of your abilities, they can also hurt them as well. For instance, if the Pyro Colossus was to, say, fly down to that group of enemies and start igniting them with his flamethrower, well, that wouldn't really work. Seeing as the scars were in a pool of water, they wouldn't take dot damage from the fire. However, they would still take the base damage from the flamethrower because, well, let's face it, Fire to the face is fire to the face. Another instance of elemental weakness might be the effectiveness of ice-based weapons or gear in overly heated environments and so on. Now, while all of this is good and well, I doubt Bioware or the Anthem dev team would ever make one element unique to one javelin, just the gear attachment. For example, the Ranger isn't the only javelin suit with ice-based abilities or gear attachments. However, he is the only one with the Frost Grenade attachment. If you wanted to, I'm sure you could make a Frost Lossus or an Ice Interceptor. Just because the Storm can use electric-based abilities doesn't mean the Ranger can't have that element. You all get the point. Every suit can use every element. It's just slightly different for each. Now that that's all out of the way, let's get back into what John Warner's previous tweet means and the implications it has on the lore of Anthem. For now, we will use the Storm Javelin as the example, mainly due to the fact that it is the most elemental and magical of the Fantastic Javelin 4. Thanks to said tweet, we know that the Anthem isn't giving us dominion over the elements. So what does this mean? Well, it means the elements are manufactured, not given. Take a listen to this clip from E3 2018. 
Faye said these bastards made some kind of acid. They're using it as a weapon. So we hear Halleck tell us that the Scars have developed some sort of acid, and that they are using it as a weapon. Not many people would have given that much a thought before Gamescom. However, I believe this throwaway line only further enforces the idea that all our elemental powers, abilities, gears, and so on are created. For instance, the Ranger's Frost Grenade. Odds are that it is a feat of modern age science, either learned from studying the Shaper relics or simply a feat of engineering. It might be the result of two chemicals reacting together as the grenade detonates, which creates an area of effect freezing. The pyro losses flamethrowers based off of modern day science and shouldn't require too much explanation as far as how that works. Similarly, the acid is manufactured and can be weaponized. This is great and all, but what does this mean for my personal javelin preference? The storm. All the other classes, it makes sense with their gear attachments, but honestly, it's beyond me how it'll work for the storm. Obviously, the Storm gets its powers from gear attachments, but seeing as the Storm is slim compared to the Ranger or the Colossus, I don't know how off-putting it would be to have a huge electricity generator strapped to my back. The far more likely answer is the attachments on its arms, as we see here in the concept art. Sure, it's concept art, not to be taken for canon or anything, and while it's cool to look at, there is a noticeable difference between the arms' attachments. It goes from a rune-like attachment to what appears to be power cylinders, to who knows knows what. I believe most, if not all of the storm's gear attachments and sources of power will come from these arm attachments and allow it to wield the elements. The question still remains if we will see more elements in Anthem and what further implications the use of elements will have on combat. One thing is for sure though, I'm more excited than ever to hop in and try them out for myself. Now, before we go, I would like to invite you all to our Discord server. Even if you've never been a part of a Discord server before, if you enjoy Anthem, we have by far the most engaging and interesting conversations I've ever been a part of. The month of September is going to be huge for us, with Anthem exclusive contests, giveaways, and so much more. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe for more Anthem content, news, and discussions. And if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like would definitely be appreciated. Speaking of appreciated, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Your support means the world to me. Anyways, freelancers, that's all for now. I hope you all have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow in the next video. Peace out, everyone.